Well, we've been studying the rocks in Oman for 20, 25 years. We were working on these rocks from the Earth's interior, the Earth's mantle, that are very rich in magnesium and fairly poor in silicon. I learned that people had thought about using those same rocks, because they are so rich in magnesium and calcium, as a way of taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and storing it in the subsurface. So the Earth's upper mantle, which is basically the largest volumetric part of the Earth, is composed of rocks. And this stuff is shielded from reaction with the atmosphere and the ocean by the crust. When this comes to the surface, when there are plate tectonic collisions and things, it's really far from equilibrium with water, with CO2, with oxygen, and it reacts really fast, like a huge battery. That process in Oman, uh, rain falls on the rocks, the rainwater dissolves magnesium, takes up CO2 from the atmosphere, it precipitates huge amounts of magnesium carbonate. Just the uptake flux of carbon dioxide due to alteration of these rocks in Oman today, ongoing, is on the order of about a gram per cubic meter of rock. There are pools with little scums like ice, uh, but the scums on the tops of those pools are calcium carbonate forming from calcium in the water and CO2 directly from the air. You can throw a pebble in those pools and you come back a few days later and the pebble's all covered up with calcium carbonate. So for geologists, something you can see happen in a day or two, this is supersonic. For every ton of rock, they can take up about 600 kilograms or 0.6 tons of CO2. We wondered if we couldn't use this uh, natural carbonation system as a way of taking significant amounts of carbon dioxide out of the air or out of smokestack gas and storing it in the subsurface, basically putting the carbon back into the Earth's interior. If we can inject CO2 into a place where the temperature is 100 degrees C or 150 degrees C and the reaction is very fast, we can really perhaps simulate this process and make fully carbonated rocks. In Oman, there's something on the neighborhood of a trillion tons of this kind of rock, so you could take up trillions of tons of carbon dioxide, which is you know, human output for thousands of years. We're trying to develop methods that when and if society gets ready to use them, will be available to bring the greenhouse gas concentration in the atmosphere back down to an acceptable level.